So, it's my first day here. I'm so excited. We don't really have much planned for today. Oh, happy Vlogmas, by the way. We don't really have much planned for today, but I just woke up and we are... My mom's coming home right now. She's going to bring me a chicken sandwich from Whataburger. I think I mentioned it to you guys yesterday that it's so much better than Wendy's. So I'm excited to have my first chicken sandwich from there. And... Then I think we're going to go to Fort Walton to pick me up a coffee and we also might get Yardbird while we're there so we'll probably dilly dally there a little bit maybe go to Michael's or something because I probably won't be hungry right away but I'm not here very long so we have to optimize my experience. Is that is that the right word? <laughs> when it comes to the chicken that I eat. <laughs> because literally all I eat here is chicken. I don't know what the deal is with me. But, and then my dad said we're getting pizza tonight. So I think that'll be really yummy. But you see, I'm living through my foods apparently. <laughs> what's going on I guess this is what I do with my days so we're gonna do that and I think we might try to make our way back here to do a little bit of Christmas decorating but if we don't get to do that today that's fine we'll do that tomorrow we have we have enough days but we don't really have a lot of days and also I'm really excited because yesterday obviously I got into town and I saw my dad and he's oops, the stupid door wants to open up and shut give me a second so yeah, yesterday I got in and I saw my dad and my dad is doing amazing right now. So if you guys don't know, if you haven't been following along for very long, my dad has diabetes and so it's always like, he also has a couple of different other ailments. So I'm always kind of nervous of how he's going to be when I come visit. It's just nice to see. It's good to see that he's doing well. And I'm really excited about that because he seems to be really happy and less miserable because he's, he's just more comfortable. So, that's what's going on here. I don't even know what, actually, yes I do. I brought that up because there's this bird bath in front of me and my dad was telling me last night that they bought this bird bath and the birds come in it and they wash themselves and stuff. And my, I don't know, he never would have said that before. I don't know why. He was just in a good mood and like, I don't even think he would have been able to enjoy the birds bathing. So, I don't know. <laughs> that's just what reminded me of my dad. But anyway, I don't really have many days here this time you guys because I have to get back for Dominic because obviously he had his wisdom teeth taken out and it was a good time for me to come because he's eating you know soup and he's not needing to talk very much you guys know I'm a talker so I would have uh, oh hey mom oh. I'm home with my chicken sandwich <laughs> <Did I bring? laughs> what you doing Thank just you. hanging out with her yeah I'm just vlogging because uh, Hi, I gotta get my morning vlogging so the chicken sandwich here. I'm doing it right now, actually. <laughs> I got my chicken sandwich, and this is it. It looks amazing. I'm so excited. It's going to be very yummy. And then my mom also brought me a beverage. We are big soda drinkers in our household, and so 8 in the morning or whatever time it is, I got my soda. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, we're going to get ready. Well, I still have to get ready, Mom. I apologize for this. But I still have to get ready, and then we're going to... Oh, she's so excited. And then we are going to get the show on the road, and I will see you guys in a few. <laughs> I decided to get dressed for the day, finally. And I'm translucent again. And this camera is loving to make me translucent for you guys. So, we are going to my favorite yard bird. I'm loving the chicken here, you guys. <laughs> so, we're headed there now, and I'm going to get my delicious meal that you guys saw last time. And yeah, I'm really, I'm really chicken it up while we're here. So I am going to get that and um, yeah, I'll show you guys the, oh my gosh, Yardbird, best, best in the game, Fort Walton. They got all the goods. So we're doing that and then afterwards we're going to go home and hopefully, my mom doesn't know that I'm wanting to do this, but I'm hoping that we will see the sunset this evening but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to because we are also have a, we're on a kind of a time crunch of needing to go or needing to do Christmas we have so much Christmas stuff and I'm not here very long this time you guys nor last time I was here three weeks I was here so long last time and this time I feel like I'm only here three days so it's just there's a lot to do so we'll see what we do this evening but it's so beautiful out here you guys everybody I cannot I cannot encourage you enough to come visit here, especially this time of year. Maybe wait until the COVID is not present, but this time of year is the best time because the sun sets here, really nothing beats them. Nothing beats them. My mom said that somebody in her Facebook group 
going on loves her little Facebook groups for this area. She said that somebody posted a picture of this area and a picture of Hawaii, and they said, can you spot the difference? <laughs> There's quite a difference. I don't know if any of you have been to Hawaii, but we have when I was very young, and I would love to go back again, Mom. I would love to. That would be so much fun, but not anytime soon because of the COVID, like we say. So, anyway, you guys, the only reason I'm calling it that is because yesterday I went into the bathroom at McDonald's and they had a sign up that said that you could only have one person in the bathroom at a time, and I didn't know anybody was in the bathroom, so I went in to this bathroom. There's multiple stalls. It's not like I just went in on someone, and I went, obviously, into the bathroom, and another woman was in there, and she came out, and she was, like, talking to this woman that was trying to get in, and she's like, one person in the stalls at once, the COVID-19, the COVID-19. I was like, okay, everybody knows other than me, apparently, because I was there sitting on the toilet while she's yelling at these other people. But anyway, you guys, we're going to go and get our food, and I'll show you guys once we get it. My cheeks are a little red for now. I embarrass myself talking about it sitting on the toilet. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach with our free. Isn't that amazing in Christmas times? We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter. We are out at the beach now. We did end up coming and catching it. It is so pretty. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple of clips of it, but the water is so pretty today. Everybody. We are home now. We got home to Sunday has eaten Edith who is my mom's plant that me and Dominic got my mom a couple years ago on Amazon you guys. I'm going to link this below for you guys. It is a very cool plant. It has grown immensely. This is Edith. That's my grandma's name in case anybody <laughs> wanted to know. But this is my mom's plant. She looked much smaller before. And she's just grown like a mad woman. We're going to get her a new pot. But something that confuses me about Edith, in case you guys can't tell, I'm, I'm interested in her. Um, is that she's got some, you can't really tell in this video, but she's got some shimmer to her. And when we got her, she was much smaller. So I'm confused about all this glitter. Looks like my mom may have had a different life at some point with her glitter. <laughs> or Edith may be living a different life when her glitter, not my mom. <laughs> but yeah, lots of glitter on Edith. And how confusing is that? Did it get multiply or something? You know, like, that doesn't make much sense, all that glitter. Can you guys see that? Kind of. Yeah, you can. Look at that. Mom, you're telling me you never put glitter on Edith? Nope. When my mom got Edith, she had glitter on her, but how did there get more glitter on Edith as the time has gone? Explain this to me, Mom. I just, I need to know. So, anyway, that's Edith, and she came with these three little snowflakes, which is really cool. And, um, yeah, so Sunday got into Edith. Oh, I forgot to show you guys what she did to her. She chewed her up. I don't know if you guys can see, but right here, it used to be all Edith. Now, it's just, she's, she's looking upset. So, anyway, really what I came here to tell you guys is we just got some, uh, pizza and garlic knots. So, can you see me? I'm right here. Um, we just got some pizza and garlic knots. It looks amazing. Everybody's waiting to eat. And I'm just going to show you guys because it's important to me. So, this is what our pizza looks like. What is this called, everyone? Margarita. Margarita pizza. Looks pretty good. And our garlic knots. We're going to eat on that right now, you guys. But I just wanted to tell you the story of how Edith lost her, lost her wings. <laughs> so, I'll talk to you guys in a bit after I eat. And then I need to go in the room and edit. So, that's what's happening here. But I'll talk to you in a bit.
Hey guys, so I decided to try and film like with the light from the bathroom, so I think that this might be working. I think you'll be able to see me tonight, but I just got in my room and I put my like scan my SD card in my computer and saw that like a bunch of my clips from today were blurry. I must have hit a button on my camera and like, I don't know, made them blurry. I don't know what happened there, but um, that's fine. It's not a big deal. I'll just pick and choose the clips that I use, obviously, from the day. But that's kind of a bummer, but I guess it's my fault. But I did have a really good day today. I had, like, actually the best day with my mom. And it's just, like, really nice to be able to spend time with her and, like, it's been kind of hard since we live so far away from each other, which I've never really explained to you guys before why we live far away from each other, but when we, my, me and my family all lived in New York, and because Dominic and I moved back up north to be closer to my family, and my mom had always dreamed of moving to Florida or moving down south somewhere, so we all planned to move down south together other than my sister because my sister is with her boyfriend who is there like established there so with his job she's not able to but um obviously my mom has just like always wanted to move here so we ended up trying to like plan it and my mom and my dad and Dominic and I were, like, both kind of waiting on each other to see who was going to move first because, like, we didn't want one of us to, like, I know for me and Dominic, we didn't want to move here and then have them not move at all and then be stuck here without them, which in, in the end, that's what we ended up doing to them, unfortunately. <laughs> but my parents ended up moving here and we ended up, we were planning to move here, but then a month after my parents moved here, they had the Panama City Beach area got hit with a hurricane and or yeah hurricane and I had never experienced a hurricane before Dominic had experienced a bunch of hurricanes because he's from Florida but when I lived in Florida we never once got hit by a hurricane and I lived here I lived in Florida for four years and I never saw what a hurricane could do so my parents moved here and they didn't get hit but the area that Dominic and I were planning on move, moving got hit so when we came to visit them we obviously went and looked at that area and it was really sad and really like eye-opening for me personally because Dominic and I obviously want to start a family at some point and we want to buy a house and we want to like start like settling down in a sense and seeing what could happen to our house here like it was devastating like I just can't imagine that happening to my house like literally the houses are were demolished anybody that's been lived somewhere that there's hurricanes understands what I'm talking about like it gets it's so bad and there's nothing you can do about it because it's it's a natural disaster but we ended up obviously deciding not to move here and it was it's been really hard because obviously my parents moved here and we planned on moving and being near them and now we're like 12 hours away from them and it's not really 12 when you travel because like you obviously have to stop and stuff sorry you guys I feel like I'm gonna yell <laughs> I'm not going to that's the worst feeling ever but um yeah you obviously have to stop and stuff so it always ends up taking like 16 hours in order to get there for or here from there and usually we have to stop in the middle so then it's a two-day trip and it's just like it would be so amazing if we could just live close to my parents again and it would just be great but at the same time that comes with advantages and disadvantages because like when I live close to my mom my mom is like everything to me and like I don't know if I would necessarily be like that if we moved here but uh when we all lived up north like it was honestly rough timing though when we lived up north when we moved up north because like when Dominic and I first moved there one of my best friends mom passed away and it was like really hard to see her go through that and it's hard on me because obviously I knew her mom really well and it was just really sad so like when Dominic and I moved up north I think I, I had like this weird thing going on in my brain about my mom and that I needed to spend like every waking moment with her. And so like I spent every like 
all the time I could. If my mom needed me to, like, do anything, I would have dropped everything for my mom. And not saying that that's not right or anything like that, but, like, it just wasn't healthy because I obviously didn't have a life outside of, like, living for my mom, <laughs> which was fine. And I love my mom, obviously, but, like, it was just, it was definitely, like, hard. So, I don't know. It's hard because I want to live close to them. And, but at the same time, when we lived close together, like, we obviously both had jobs. I feel like we get more time together now when I come visit than we got before because, like, we would be working and then we would see each other in between work. And it was, you were always kind of, like, dealing with work a little bit when you were hanging out. And especially my mom because my mom's job is, like, she, my mom literally works. She can, she works all the time. So my mom will work, like, 50 jobs, honestly. But... Yeah, so at least now when I come visit, like, she usually can take a couple days off and we can hang out, but it still obviously is hard, and, like, talking on the phone isn't easy, and with everything going on with COVID, it's been really hard, but one really good thing that's happened since, like, the last time I was here was my dad, like, when I came last time, my dad was really sickly, and he, my dad has diabetes, so... Last time I came here, like, he was, he couldn't really walk very well. It was really scary. And I'm sorry if I'm not looking at you guys, by the way. I don't have my contacts in, so I literally can't see you. Hopefully, I'm in focus. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so my dad is really, was really sickly last time I was here. And this time, my dad is, like, spry. It's like, it's like he's not even sick at all. <laughs> so that's really nice this time. And like, but it's really weird. Anybody that has parents that live far away from you, like you understand, like, it's really weird when you see them one time and they're one way and then you see them the next time and they're a completely different way. And that was really hard when I lived in Florida because every time I would see my dad, he like he would be getting sicker and sicker. One time he was in a wheelchair when I saw him and like that was devastating because you don't realize how you don't realize that, like, when you're living somewhere and your family's living somewhere else, like, they're living their life. And, like, it doesn't affect you as much because you're just talking to them on the phone. But then when you see them in person and they're literally in a wheelchair and you're not, you've are you never seen them in a wheelchair before, it's definitely shocking. And, like, that was a big reason that Dominic and I moved up north, too. But I just wanted to kind of explain why we live where we live compared to where my parents live. It's not really by choice. <laughs> I would love to live closer to my parents. I, like, Panama City would have been perfect. We would have been three hours from them, and we could have came to visit whenever we wanted. But, and then, like, seeing the hurricane, too, you guys, that was really hard because if we had moved down here, my parents wouldn't have anywhere to go. We would have nowhere to go if a hurricane were to hit. Like, now, at least, if a hurricane hits my parents, they can come visit us, where before... My sister obviously lives in New York, but they're not going to drive 24 hours to my sister if a hurricane's coming. You know what I mean? So you have to, I don't know. It's just very stressful. <laughs> and it just it didn't work out the way that we had planned. But I don't know. There's nothing we can do about it. So hopefully, I don't know, hopefully this is relatable and hopefully it kind of explains to you my situation and why, like, I'm so close with my mom and we live so far away because it freaking sucks to live this far away from my mom. But it's nice when I come visit and it's really nice because we get undivided attention together. Speaking of, tonight we watched Mass Singer, which is just really wild. Like, the show's so dumb, <laughs> but, like, it's also really good at the same time. I always save, so it, the season came out a while ago now but I always save it to watch with my dad because my dad loves singing shows <laughs> and Dominic isn't really a big fan of them so but this season's okay not as good as last season but I mean we'll see I'm, we're only two episodes in so anyway you guys I'm gonna go to sleep so I will see you guys tomorrow on vlogmas day whatever I do not know how people keep track of their vlogmas days. Like, I feel like I'm on vlogmas day like 140, but like I know I'm on the end. I probably, I probably, I'm probably on vlogmas day like seven or something. But I hope you guys have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>